So today guys, I'm unboxing the $130 MagSafe Duo Charger. It will charge your Apple Watch and your iPhone in one compact accessory. The only problem is it's $130. Is it really worth it? Apple has some expensive stuff, but this I think is up there to where I feel almost kind of foolish spending the money, but I was curious and wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. And before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I actually paid for this with my own money. Apple did not send it to me. It's not a review unit. So that allows me to say whatever the heck I want about it without getting anybody upset. So I'm going to give you my full and honest opinions as I unbox it. All I ask is you like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out. So my Apple MagSafe Duo charger came today. I'm really excited to test this out just because I've never really spent so much money on an Apple accessory. I will admit it's actually super overpriced. It really doesn't look super premium to me. Like it folds up. It's good for travel, but I'm not sure if the price is worth it. What it's going to do for me though is simplify my bed stand. Right now I have the MagSafe charger and the Apple Watch charger. So you can see like that's, this is kind of my go-to. Like I charge my watch, I charge my phone. It works good. But if we can do an all-in-one, kind of simplify my life, I'm all for it. The price, I'm not all excited about, but I'll let you know what I really think once we unbox it. The big thing with this MagSafe, it's kind of like a pain to unplug from your bed one-handed. Like you actually have to pick it up and take it off with the other hand. So my big question is, is this going to be like weighted enough where I don't have to do that? So let's get this thing unboxed. I'll give you my first impressions and we'll see what's going on. So keep your knife in your pocket. This box has a pull tab. So it just pulls like that and kind of just goes all the way around the box like that. And then you just take off the plastic. And here we go, guys, just like that. It's got some give to it. Okay, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> so the, the crazy thing is this desk thing right here is magnetic and this thing like it sticks. So that <laughs> I didn't know that, but this is kind of a cool thing for my unboxing. I can really see like this is a strong magnet. Okay. So we got some little plasticky things to pull. So let's do that first. Ooh, whoa, this is getting complex. Maybe the $130 is worth it just for all the plastic to peel off because that's the best part. Okay, so I don't know, like first, first impressions. What is this made out of? I thought this was like leather, but it's not. It's like a silicone, I believe. Um, but it's cool. Like it just feels good in the hand. I can already tell you like this is going to be the best for somebody who travels. Like this is so easy and compact just to take with you. So let's see how it works. You can fold it either way. It really doesn't matter. It's got the lightning connector right there, which why not USB-C? Apple, come on. It's got the Apple logo there. I don't know why people gawk over that. I couldn't care less about that Apple logo, <laughs> but it's there if you like that. Okay. So just for size comparison, there you go. This puck is pretty much the same size as your current one you would have. Same with MagSafe. It literally is like the same thing. Makes you wonder why they're freaking charging so much money. And inside the box, we get some documentation. Boring, boring, boring. Boring. No Apple sticker. Oh, well. And then we have another cable. So this is the Lightning to USB-C cable, which... This is the current gen, you know, like you better start getting these. All the old Apple devices have USB-A to lightning. It's all about lightning to USB-C. So that's what this cable looks like. You're going to need a USB-C power brick. The back of the box right here 
says 20 watt. So we're just gonna use the 20 watt one that we got with the original MagSafe. So I have that one from Apple right here. So this is the 20 watt one. Plug in, it plugs in to where your Apple Watch, ooh, wait, what? Yeah, plugging a lightning cable into this just felt weird, like I freaked out for a second. <laughs> Apple, USB-C, all the things, please do us a favor. So here we go, here is the piece de la resistance. <laughs> so there we go, that's charging. Oh, I guess you can like, can you charge it like that? I mean, you could. Yeah, it charges. If you if you wanna, didn't want to pull it up. It, I guess it depends. Depends on your on your wristband, but it's pretty versatile. So I'm not sure why you'd want to do it from overhead like that. Of course, it's made to charge like that. And then my Apple Watch. This is what I'm curious about. Um, I'm gonna have to take this magnetic pad off because, see my test was the one-handed test. I wanted to know if you could take this thing off one-handed like when you're laying in bed, because that would be worth it. And look, you can, <laughs> but this is a conflict of interest. My, my table is magnetic right here. Okay, and I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's gonna come off one-handed. See, like, I just lift it up. You could kind of like do this, like that works a little bit better because it's a little bit more substantial. You have like something to put your hand on. First woke up, like that ain't gonna work. If you compare it to this, you know, this is more made to kind of hold and use at the same time. I mean, I guess you could also take that off one handed as well. So now I'm super freaking intrigued. Like I want a magnetic top like this for my freaking nightstand. So this is, this is what I wanted. I wanted the ability to just yank it off, no problem. Even my phone kind of sticks slightly to this. <laughs> and if you're wondering what it is, it's literally just like one of those, I got it from Ikea. It's just kind of like one of those covers that you put on your desk so you don't scratch it up or get pen marks or something on it. It just happens to be magnetic as well. So it's really freaking good for this use case. So let's be honest, the price, $130, is it worth it? That's a loaded question because coming from Apple, their accessories have always been expensive. You typically get what you pay for. They're good quality. They work well with the products, but there is that Apple tax on it. Now for me, I'm not really one to take advantage of this thing because like, as you can see, it folds and unfolds. It's really great for travel. I don't really travel much. If you travel, this thing will be perfect because you just fold it up, take it with you. You will be able to charge your phone and your watch no problem with one device. That's great. I personally question like that folding mechanism. It's just made out of like a silicone rubber. So how long until that starts like falling apart, you know, getting brittle? Time will tell. I'll make another review if I need to. But I personally am not going to be folding it and unfolding it. It's just going to sit right there on my nightstand. And that kind of leads me into another direction. So for me, for this product to be like truly amazing, I wish it would have not been silicone. I wish it would have been like a hunk of metal, super solid, like permanent fixture on my desk or nightstand. Nothing like made to travel. I want something that's solid that I can take my phone off with one hand. I can take my watch off with one hand. That's my current gripe about MagSafe. The chargers from Apple currently are just so light that when you pick them up, the whole thing comes up with it kind of. You have to use your other hand. I know that's a very big first world problem, but like for me, if I'm in bed and I wanna grab my phone for a second and look at it, I typically have to use my other hand to kind of put pressure on the charger. I'm sure we're gonna get a charger from a third party that takes care of this. It's just a matter of time. But for me, I wish Apple would have made this as like a travel duo charger and they'd come out with another like premium MagSafe duo charger later. That being said, if they do that, I'm sure they will and they're gonna charge like $200 for it. Oh well, and I'll probably be the first person to buy it and review it. <laughs> so guys, is it worth it? No, should you get it? 
If you want to spend $130, that's all I got to say. If you made it this far, like the video and subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And watch two of my other videos right here. Bye.